time travel has been an obsession for people over the years. Everyone from scientists to filmmakers have wondered if it was possible, and what it would be like if it really happened. Even the physicist Stephen Hawking argued that time travel was something we couldn't rule out. Although no concrete evidence has been found to prove that time travel is possible, many experts are still extremely optimistic, and will likely remain this way until proven otherwise. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three pieces of evidence that could prove that time travel exists. Ron Mallet An astrophysicist named Ron Mallet has dedicated a large portion of his life to studying the possibility of time travel. His interest in time travel began when he was just 10 years old, and his father passed away after suffering from a heart attack. A year after his father's death, Mallet discovered the book, The Time Traveller, by H.G. Wells, and his life was changed forever. After becoming a professor at the University of Connecticut, Mallet began sharing his ideas of time travel and realised many people were just as curious as he was about the idea. This motivated him to continue his research. Mallet has determined several scientific equations and principles and he now believes that not only is it possible to travel back in time, but that he could even build a time machine to make it happen. According to a theory by Albert Einstein, objects that are large can bend space-time, and time goes by slower as gravity gets stronger. Based on this theory, Mallet believes you could do more than just bend space, but that you can twist it. He believes that anything that can be done to space can be done to time as well. Mallet has come up with a theory, claiming that time can be twisted into a loop that would make time travel possible. He built his own prototype that shows how one could use lasers to achieve success. Mallet has said that studying ring lasers and their effects on gravity could help him figure out how to make a time machine based on a light that circulates. This light beam would, potentially, twist time and space and allow someone to travel to the past. Mallet also believes that if this light is twisted in just the right way, travelling to the future could be possible as well. Mallet's peers have been very hesitant about his theories, and find it hard to believe that he'll achieve his goals. An astrophysicist named Paul Sutter believes there's far too many flaws in Mallet's theory, and that it doesn't seem practical. Some other scientists believe that whilst his ideas may not be particularly practical, experimenting with them may be worthwhile. Mallet himself admits his theory has its flaws, and doesn't seem achievable at this point in time. He has acknowledged the fact that time travel likely won't be possible within his lifetime, but he's trying to raise money to perform experiments. Regardless of the negative opinions of others, Mallet remains optimistic. He's glad that his work will contribute to the study of time travel, and he considers it a great tribute to his father. The Chronovisor. In the 1960s, a Roman Catholic monk named Father Marcello Annetti met another monk named Father Francois Brun on a ferry ride in Venice. During the ferry ride, they discussed their own biblical interpretations, but Father Annetti said something that surprised Father Brun. He said that he doesn't see the need for theories and interpretations when they have the ability to see the truth themselves. Father Annetti claimed that there was a machine that could show them what really happened during the biblical days. Father Annetti told Father Brun about a time viewing machine named a chronovisor, which looked similar to a television that allowed people to see and hear things that happened in the past. He said it finds noises and sights that were still floating about space. Father Annetti even claimed he had watched Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed and the crucifixion of Jesus. Years before this, whilst working with Father Agostino Ganelli on filtering the harmonics from chants, they somehow heard the voice of Father Ganelli's father speaking through the wire recording, even though he'd already passed. After this, Father Annetti couldn't help but wonder what happened to noises and sights from the past. He put together a secret team of scientists to help him figure this out. The only two scientists ever to be named were Wernher von Braun and Enrico Fermi. This secret team built the chronovisor in the 1950s. It allowed them to see and hear any time and place that ever existed. 
Not only did they claim to have watched Jesus Christ, but also Napoleon, along with plays by a famous Roman author. The team agreed to dismantle the device after realising how powerful it could be in the wrong hands. No moment could ever be completely private if they could see and hear any moment in time. They also believed that if the wrong person got hold of the machine, this person could become the worst dictator to ever exist. Father Anetti was often asked for proof of his machine. He had transcribed a play and offered it as proof only to certain people. He also had a picture of Christ that he had taken a photograph of through the chronovisor. The picture shows Christ looking up while he was on the cross. However, both pieces of evidence were eventually criticised. Experts believe the transcript of the play was too short to be a full play, as most would have been at least ten times longer than what Father Onetti had transcribed. He also included many Latin words that weren't used until around 200 years after the play. The play also seemed to be written by someone who didn't know Latin particularly well, even though it was the playwriter's supposed native language, leaving many to believe Father Onetti made it all up. People also noticed that the picture of Christ was the same as the pictures sold on postcards at a Sanctuary of Merciful Love in Italy. The final piece of evidence that disproved the story was a letter from an anonymous relative. The relative claimed that, while on his deathbed, Father Anetti admitted he had faked his previous piece of evidence. He said he made up his own transcription of the play and that the photograph of Christ really was the copy from the postcard sold. However, he still insisted that the chronovisor was real, and that he really did see the events he previously claimed to see. Father Anetti never told anyone how the chronovisor was made, or exactly how it worked, so there was never any tangible evidence. Although most people always believed he was lying, Father Brune believed him. He believed that since the photos of Christ sold in the church in Sanctuary of Merciful Love were based on the description of a vision a nun had of Christ, both photos could have been accurate. He also said that if Father Anetti really made this confession before dying, he may have done so because he was threatened by the Vatican. Even though Father Anetti claims the team dismantled the chronovisor, some people believe it's still hidden away somewhere, and will likely always remain a secret. Wormholes Wormholes were first theorised as a mathematical solution for Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Wormholes are described as areas where space and time are bent to manipulate the distance. Wormholes bend the fabric of space-time and connect two distant points in space, acting as a shortcut. Because they act as shortcuts in space-time, some scientists believe it would make it possible to travel back in time. The idea of wormholes really existing is intriguing to most people, but no one's ever found one, and it's believed that no one will find one anytime soon. Scientists have also found several problems with this theory, such as size and stability. It's believed that wormholes, if real, only exist on microscopic levels, but it's possible that some could stretch out to a larger size. It's also believed that wormholes could easily and quickly collapse because the gravity would change when someone entered. The prevailing theory is that an exotic matter, which may not exist, would be needed to help keep it stable. If it did exist, and a wormhole could contain this matter, it could be used to send information, or even people, through space. However, many scientists don't believe the laws of physics would allow a human to travel through a wormhole. Although there's currently no real evidence that wormholes exist, or that they'd be useful if they did, scientists still continue to study this. Due to the fact that the wormhole theory shows up so often in calculations, many scientists believe they must be real. It's also possible that as scientists continue to learn more about gravity, it could develop new ideas about wormholes. The hope is that a better understanding of gravity will provide new ideas about how wormholes could be feasible without using exotic matter for stability. So what do you make of these time travel possibilities? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.